Scotland? I know, right? Alright, so we're waiting in line to actually <laughs> enter the terminal. To go into the airport. Look at I do not need another Sydney LA DFW no. experience. Still waiting. Been five minutes. Finnish people have arrived very early. <laughs> it's 5.30, flight departs at 8, and it's a full line. If, if you don't know, Marcus is Finnish, Australian. My parents are, are Finnish. Are, you, are, you have a Finnish passport. Yes, I have a Finnish passport. Yeah, and my last name is Finnish, so why not just fly to Finland on the way back to the US from India? Why not? <laughs> Marcus has reindeer on his Look ticket. That. <laughs> it's so cute. We have come to a consensus. That was the worst security line we in the entire took, world. That took over an hour. There's the flight attendants. And the pilots were trailing behind. The thin air pilots. <laughs> the comments when this plane was made. Yes, it's my first time. Is this your first time in the AP? Yes, and we're not sitting together. Air Canada is taking the Dreamliner and we're taking the A350. This is so exciting! Sinky. What is this? Oh my gosh, babe. I just told Marcus that the terminal looks like we're in Ikea. Start with that um, Marcus got in trouble for not using his Finnish passport. He ended his Australian one and the guy got mad. Sort of feel like I got hit by a train, but this is the room. It's an Ikea. Ikea is from Sweden. It's we're staying at the Glow Hotel. Seems lovely. And I was asking him, like, do you have a fo like something where I can fill up a water bottle? And she goes, oh, just drink the tap water out of the sink. Definitely not in India anymore. The light attendants, I don't even know if you can see this, were so nice. They brought me cups of Finnish chocolate. I'm really excited about it to eat a bunch of finished chocolate. Marcus has already eaten two of my blue chocolates. <laughs> this isn't enough. I know, you've already had two in like 60 seconds. Good morning, it's like 7 a.m. We were going downstairs last night. We walked to the water and watched the sunset and I was so jet lagged like, we took a two hour nap at 7 p.m. because the sun set at like 9 p.m. Then we got dinner at this place called Iguana. Um, Marcus is looking for COVID tests. We're on a hunt for a COVID test that costs like less than 100 euros each. So yeah, that was unexpected. Today we're gonna explore Helsinki. Yeah, it is. Yeah. No, it's just like, there's legit no one here. You know that, you know the Finns don't like people in the... It's kind of sad that we came, it's Easter uh, yesterday, and then they have Easter Monday. Kind of sad that we came on a holiday, because not everything's open. Yeah. It would have been so cool. I'm, I'm like so tempted to just stay a week. <laughs> We're going to go get some chocolate. That's like Mark's obsession is, and his whole family. We're going to fill a whole suitcase of Finnish chocolate. We're gonna go to Swam and Linda. Swam and Linda. <laughs> Marcus.
Marcus's very finished breakfast. All these little shops. Can't really see them because I think they're just trying to keep warm. So they're tented in. We are taking a ferry somewhere. I could feel like I'm in a Viking movie. But I did. I had half a croissant for breakfast. And now my stomach hurts, so you're gonna have a grumpy Jojo. I think everyone's abnormally happy right now though because it's like holiday weekend and it is a solid seven degrees outside. That is AKA 45. Like it is, it is <laughs> yeah, look, the snow is melting. So I, I think everyone's happy. They have signs showing you like where you can go and it's just little coffee symbols after coffee symbols. I know, right? You guys, I just cannot fathom how we went from like India yesterday to just like forts and snow and <laughs> lake houses. It's a nice little town. We got sucked into the tourist trap and we got, <laughs> it's freaking spring and I got a snow globe for Christmas. <laughs> Marcus and I don't have a single ornament together. We've been married three years and got a little espresso finish. We are back in Helsinki. I ordered chips and this came out and we were like, okay, they literally thought we meant these chips, but then they came out with french fries. <gasps> oh, scary. So we did a thing. Um, yes, we actually did buy an entire box of chocolates. I just, you know, picked it up. Mark's like, look, they have one chocolate. And then I went <laughs> And just grabbed the whole lot. And then Marcus got some Finnish candy that apparently he ate when he was a child or something. But I'm not even going to risk it because there's probably a lot of gluten in like lollies like this. So I just can't do it. But I wish I could tell you how it tastes. Babe, you could tell them how it tastes. Honestly, it is not like the greatest. Oh. No. But it still tastes good. Tastes like childhood. We're gonna try and get one more finished cinnamon roll at this place that was really good. It's called Phaser. Oh, it's closed. No. Uh, we need chocolate and coffee and another cinnamon roll. Everything's closed. It's just late now. It's 7 p.m. We're approaching summer and they still and probably will never take down this Christmas tree. Casual reindeer. <laughs> this is so good. There's like a mini Ikea over there. Starbucks is closed, aka if they're not working, no one else is going to be working. They have like little tapas, but the Finnish version of what are tapas in Finnish. <laughs> so we're meant to go to Barcelona next month and I'm looking at my schedule to see if it got it off. I got it off. I got the whole weekend off. We could really? even go to the F1 in Barcelona. Really? Yeah. Let's do it. Marcus has the audacity <laughs> speaking in complete Finnish and then all of a sudden he's like, uh, I don't know the word for table for one second. He goes, mate, can I just sit at the upper deck <laughs> yeah. table? And they're like, Sir, you were speaking fluent Finnish to me with a Finnish accent 
and now you're just Australian. They, they are very shocked, <laughs> but I don't know. If and I see it every words, time. So. They're just like, <laughs> for the past 30 seconds, we've been speaking fluent Finnish to each yeah. other. And then he whips out his Australian accent. Okay, Marcus and I have to go get a COVID test. We're gonna leave for the airport early and hopefully they let us get one before our flight. Otherwise, we'll be flying to like New York or LA or something. Okay, we just did a COVID test. Thanks, Finnair. Marcus is telling me that this is the headquarters. Yeah, it is. It is. Just to show just to It's like a corner. And then they have a nurse to do a COVID test. Must do it for the pilots for free. Yes. Ah, tell me if you're a Finnair pilot, if you have to go in there, in that little corner. Okay, now we're gonna just uh, walk to the airport, wherever it is. While we wait for a COVID test, we just came and got lattes. My little sister is pregnant and I just thought this was the cutest little blanket, so. This is a really beautiful airport. It's official. We're moving to Finland, the easiest airport experience on the planet. So, this is an important. I had to like get extra pat, sorry, pat down security, and they're like English. I was like yes because I have my passport in my hand, and then they just keep speaking Finnish to me. I'm like, I really hope I'm doing what you're saying for me to do. We were trying to find everyone in Australia the candies that they wanted. In specific, his sister. Alright, got his sister the lollies that she wanted, which she wants licorice. Babe, I want to go to Paris instead. I still have a few more days off. We could just go to Paris. We're going international. Passport control. There is a straight up Moomin cafe. This is the cutest thing. There's day 350. Thanks, babe. Oh, Okay, first please. First one, please take some water. That one? Awesome, thank you. That was the heaviest my bag has ever been. We brought like 30 blocks of chocolate back to the US. Here they have blueberry juice and I was really intrigued so this time I actually got the blueberry juice and it is so sweet. Thanks, Finland. Thanks, India, for the wild week. I'll see you guys later. Bye.